Welcome to another episode of Eric White Whiskey Studies, and in this video, going to do a review of the Glendronic 12-year-old original Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. But before I get into this, I'm going to tell you about the profile of a Glendronic Distillery, their core range, and this whiskey. Glendronic Distillery is located near Forg by Huntley, Aberdeenshire, in the Scottish Highlands. The name Glendronic means Valley of the Brambles or Valley of the Blackberries. Glendronic Distillery was founded in 1826 by James Allardyce, also referred to as Allardyce, as the second distillery to apply for a license to legally produce whiskey under the Excise Act of 1823, which passed three years earlier and which allowed for the distilling of whiskey in Scotland. In April 2016, Belly Walker sold the Glendronic Distillery to the Brown Foreman Corporation for 285 million pounds. Glendronic Distillery draws its water from the Dronic Burn within the distillery grounds. They have a 3.7 ton cast iron rake and plow mash ton, nine large washbacks, with a fermentation of 60 to 90 hours. They have two wash stills and two spirit stills. And they have six warehouses, three dunnage and three racked. The Glendronic Core Range. The Glendronic, the Highland, eight-year-old Highland single malt scotch whiskey. Aged eight years at X bourbon and X sherry cast, it's non-chill full dirt, has natural color, Bought at 46% alcohol by volume. The Glendronic 12 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Aged for 12 years in Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso Sherry casks. It's bought at 43% alcohol by volume. The Glendronic Revival 15 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Aged 15 years in Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso Sherry casks. It's non chill filtered, has natural color, is bought at 46% alcohol by volume. The Glendronic Allardyce 18 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Aged for 18 years in 100% Oloroso Sherry Cast. It's non chill filtered, has natural color, spotted at 46% alcohol by volume. The Glendronic Parliament 21 year old Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Aged for 21 years in Pedro Hermanis and Oloroso Sherry Cast. It's non chill filtered, has natural color, spotted at 48% alcohol by volume. So this whiskey is a, a golden uh, copper color, a slight tinge of orange on the nose. Uh, pronounced aromas of um, dates, figs, raisins, but it has a very distinctive sulfury note. Some people don't like that character. There's also a little bit of dried oranges, maybe a little bit of maple, and some leafy notes. Now I want to do a head-to-head -head comparison between this whiskey and the Glen Farkless 12 year old which I'll be reviewing in a, another video. I've heard uh, another whiskey tuber say that Glen Farkless has a better management of their cask so you don't get these uh, sulfury notes. However, Glen Farkless doesn't have the intensity of the dried black fruit notes and it leans a little bit more into the dried orange character than does Glendronic. So I think Glendronic tends to have a more intensity of those dried black fruit notes, whereas Glenfarclas seems to be using perhaps older casks or a more second uh, fill cask rather than first fill cask, or they might be uh, not using seasoned casks. In other words, you get much more of a sherry note on a Glendronic than you do from Glenfarclas. Consequently, that sulfury note is coming from sherry cask. Now, the thing about a sherry cask, say, versus a bourbon cask, a bourbon cask having that charring acts as an additional filter, which is going to uh, remove some of that sulfury notes that may have been left over from distillation, whereas you're not going to have that in a sherry cask. Also, 
Depends on how you preserve your cast. You can get that sulfur, you know, from, a, from the sulfur candles that they use to prevent a sherry cast from getting spoilage. All that being said, a slight whiff of it, I actually find as an interesting note to it, I, it doesn't bother me at all. But if you're not a big fan of sherry cast, that may be the reason why. The, the nose really, really pops on. It's an absolutely a beautiful nose and only 43% alcohol by volume. It's on the palate where you wish you'd had a little bit more. Mm. It has an intensity of flavor, dried black fruit notes, the, that orange citrus note, citrus pill, dried oranges, honey, lemon, a little bit of caramel. There is sort of a dry, a leafy note. It has a long finish. It has good transitions. The only thing is, it feels slightly thin on the mid palate. Other than that, it's a beautiful whiskey. Mm. When tasted on its own and not compared to the 15 year old, I'm gonna review the 15 year old. And the 15 year old, as you'll see in that video, uh, very similar, but more pedal to the metal and in more intense and concentration of flavor. And it doesn't thin out in the mid palate. So I think this is an absolutely fantastic whiskey. It's in the mid palate that it drops a little bit. I think that's its uh, main weakness. It would need a little bit more ABV to fix that or obviously a little bit more age. Other than that, I think it's a great whiskey. In my neighborhood, it's selling for around 50 bucks. As we know, the price of whiskeys, Scotch whiskeys, particularly single malts has gone up and up and up. So we're sort of changing our standard or our barometer of how we determine whether it's something is a, a fair price or not. Now, given the market now, in comparison to what it was, you know, the prices were three, four years ago, everything, the way it's priced now is absolutely insane. So your choice is stop drinking whiskey, stop buying bottles of whiskey, or just go, well, I guess that's, that's just the way it is now, and this is the prices we're gonna pay because I don't see anything going back uh, to where the way they were before. Part of that is due to uh, inflation. Our dollar has been devalued. When you print more of it, you have less, it becomes less viable. Part of it is the way in which our economy is being uh, managed, but that's a whole nother conversation. Well, when I give this then uh, as a score, I'm gonna go solid 89 points, a solid 89 points. What would I want to get over 90? Uh, something in the mid palate, a little more oomph in the mid palate. Other than that, it's very del uh, delicious whiskey doesn't need any water, doesn't benefit from water, and at 43%, eh, you don't need to go any lower than that. All right, until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.